Hello everyone and welcome to Lavellia's Coloring. In this video, I will be showing you guys my completed pages for March 2019 and also what I am currently working on for the next month. So I'll go ahead and clear this all up and we'll get started. The first uh, page I want to show you is from the Disney Love Stories coloring book by Hatchet Heroes. And it is the page with Thumper and Miss Bunny. I'll go ahead and zoom you in. Yes, so um, I used the Leisure Art double ended markers as a base, and then I came over on top with the Shapiro Farben colored pencils. I also used acrylic background. Um, which is the Posca, uh, Uniball Posca 3M sized paint pen. Um, I just used this one for the whole thing since there's only like a little bit all going all the way around. And on Thumper, I used the Uniball Signo um, silver, metallic silver gel pen, which is this one. This is the 0.8 size. And then on Miss Bunny, I used the Angelic Uniball Signo um, white gel pen to line around the flowers. I also used the Uniball Signo um, gold metallic gel pen um, to dot on the flowers. I also used the At You Speaker for these flowers on the red flowers in the middle of the yellow and the blue flowers, but kind of hard to see um, trying to can tell but that's what I tried to use and then um, it's not showing that much <laughs> but I don't know okay so um, yeah so this is uh, Thumper and Miss Bunny from the Disney Love Stories coloring book I'll go ahead and zoom out The next page I want to share with you is from the Cute Pets and Animals Coloring Book by Tra Tensel. You may have seen this page from a speed coloring I did um, after a flip through and review of this coloring book. I did the panda and I colored it with big marking pens, uh, markers, and I also used um, the Koinor Polycolor colored pencils on top plus the Koenor tritones. Um, with the tritones I would color in one area then turn the pen a pencil and then color a different area so um, the color would vary um, throughout each um, different part for the mosaic and you can tell on the border also. I did, um, did the lines with the Uniball Posca white uh, paint pen. This is the 1M size. And then for the sun, I use a metallic gel pen, which is the Uniball Signo brand. And yeah, so I did that for this one. And then for the outside border, I use the silver. I used the silver metallic gel pen also by Uniball Signo. So it's really fun. I had a lot of fun coloring in this page. So this is Cute Pets and Animals Coloring Book by Draw Tinsel. The next page I want to share with you is from the Tattoo Darlings and Inky Girls Coloring Book by Hannah Lynn. I colored a page called Sparrow. And this was for several color alongs also on Instagram. I use Lemouche for uh, the Lemouche markers for everything but the skin. The skin um, I use the Touch New markers. For um, the pencil work on top I use the Spira Farben. I really had a lot of fun with this page. I also used the, um, the Uniball Signo gold uh, gel pen on um, the flower here 
And then some of the little details on her tattoo. So this is from Tattoo Darlings by Hannah Lynn. The next page I colored is from uh, Hannah Lynn's first coloring book, uh, Mermaids, Fairies, and Other Girls of Whimsy. And the page I colored is, what is it called? It's for St. Patrick's Day, which is called Lady Lepre Leprechaun. It's right over here. Really had fun coloring in this page. I used um, Bic markers and I also used Le Mouche markers um, on the skin. I used the Touch New marker and um, I also used for pencil work, I used the Pablo, that's the Caran Dash Pablos and the Erosion colored pencils. Um, for the water right over here, I think I could have added more water. I used acrylic with um, water to lighten it to make it um, look see-through. Um, it was inspired by um, Sammy who also did this in one of her, I think it was the Jade Summer, or no, no, I think it was also another Hannah Lynn um, coloring, um, but I think I need to add a lot more water. Um, so it's a lot more see-through, kind of like washed out the bottom part. Um, the eye makeup, because I usually, when I do, when I color um, any kind of makeup around the eyes, I would just use like one color and I'm like, that's done. That's kind of like how I do my own makeup. So I was watching um, one of Gia King's tutorial, her YouTube tutorial uh, for applying um makeup eye makeup and this one I forgot what it was called but um yeah so I followed the colors that she used and I really like how it came out um so there's like yellow orange um a little bit of red and then purple it's kind of like every color to a rainbow but the way um she put the colors together I really like how it um comes together Okay, so this is um, Lady Lepre Leprechaun. I don't know why I keep trying to say it wrong. <laughs> but this is from Mermaids, Fairies, and Other Girls of Whimsy by Hannah Lynn. The next book I want to share with you is The Whimsical Darlings Coloring Book, and it's illustrated by Jana Prosperina. The page I colored in her book is this one. Also for um, several color alongs, I used the mache markers and then on her skin, I used the touch new markers. I also used um, Sergeant Art colored pencils, the Sergeant Art Supreme colored pencils um, on top. I really like how um, soft that pencil is. It came out pretty good. I really loved how her hair came out. Um, the background is the Mongyo soft pastels. I tried to do some kind of bokeh. Um, I don't think I really pronounced it that much, but it's just like a try, me trying to do something <laughs> different instead of just one um, color. So yeah, I really had a lot of fun coloring this illustration. So this is... Whimsical Darlings Coloring Book by Jana Prosperina. The next page I colored is from Mysteria by Anastasia Ellie Coloriva. And it was a buddy color with um, T from Color Girl and NC. So she did her version. I also did my version. And I'll go ahead and put up her version now. So this page, I really had a lot of fun. I took my time on this, so um, I was coloring other pages at the same time as I was coloring this page. Um, I started out with uh, using the Colore brand of watercolor pencils uh, just to put one light layer 
um, in the background. And I also came in with the Kuritaki Genzai Tambi um, to add more darker colors. And then around the circle, I used um, the Apple Barrel acrylic paint. I mixed uh, blue and black, um, but it came out a lot more darker than I expected, but that, that always happens, even though it looks like it won't come out that dark, it does. To me, I can see that it's like an indigo color, but on the, um, on my camera, it looks like it's black. Anyways, um, for her hair, I did a base of, um, Derwent Ink Tents. And then on top of that, I used Faber Castell. And that one took me a while, it took me about five days <laughs> to um, color her hair. Um, after I colored it, it the image just, I it screams Susan Sarandon to me. <laughs> so, um, but I really wanted to color off in her hair. So um, yeah, and then the flowers um, is all colored with um, Prismacolor Premieres. The stems were uh, Faber-Castell and then I outlined the um, the flowers with the Uniball Signo. Go ahead and zoom you in so you can see. Um, yeah, so you can see like on this flower um, I outlined with the white uniball signo and then the little what do you call this like stamen <laughs> um i used a metallic gr a green metallic pen to do those i mean it really stands out um like right up here and on her skin over right here so for her skin i'll go ahead and zoom you out a little bit So for her skin, I did a base of Touch New Markers, and then on top is um, Luminance and Faber-Castell. Um, the Luminance I did for highlights and to blend um, the colors. Um, I followed um, one of Gia King's tutorials for, I think it was using all MAC products and um, I just tried to match the colors that she used to put in her eyes to um, match it with how I would color her eyes and um, I like how <laughs> there's like a little highlight on the eyelids. Let me see I can. So you can see on the eyelids there's like little highlights. Um, yeah, so I just used, I think it was this, I don't remember, it might have been like silver. Yeah, so, you know, just watching her tutorials, it, it, it you can see um, how she applies her colors. It's kind of like how I applied the colors to her um, eyes over here and then to know where the shadows are and where the highlights of your eye, of the eyes are like above, under the eyebrows. I put a lot of uh, buff titanium, the buff titanium, the luminance buff titanium under there. Um, yeah, so I really had a lot of fun um, coloring in this page. And yeah, she's my blue-eyed Susan Sarandon. So I hope you guys like this one. Um, then I'll have one more, which is my whip, and I'll go ahead and show you that one. So this is Mysteria by Anastasia Ellie Coldariva. So the last book I'm sharing with you is Tenderful Enchantments by Clara Markova. This is um, actually a whip. This is also the first um, page I've colored in this book. I am using Dermot Color Soft to color this page. Um, this page is also in memory of Leslie, who is um, known as Orion's Girl 93. She had She's known by Orion's Girl through YouTube. I knew her through Instagram first before I followed her on YouTube. And yeah, she passed away um, this year, um, I think in January, and just found out a couple weeks ago. So um, and her favorite color is purple. So I would, I would color some purple flowers. And yeah, so I'm coloring this page for her. And yeah, 
hopefully you'll, you'll see this in my finished pages for April. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching my completed pages for March 2019. I know there isn't that much. I think it was only seven f completed um, pages and then my whip. I did take my time on my coloring pages. So, um, yeah, uh, hopefully I can get faster after each one but uh i think with coloring it's not about how fast you color it's just um enjoying the process of coloring so yeah so i hope you guys um enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i hope to see you guys in my next video so take care happy colorings and bye bye